everything and tell them that they are Today has been a fantastic day because we already have a unit that uh, looks considerably stronger and uh, it definitely looks like it's manned for the job. It's not a new engine, it's, it's the thrust vector system which is obviously to give us more stability whilst vertical. Uh, at present the boys use their feet and their body position whilst flying vertically um, in a hover position. Now we can automate that system. Uh, which will give them much more control stability and uh, also help us to bring landings and takeoffs into the equation. Ah, oh, come on, he didn't even try. Something strange. This is what R&D is. It's, it's all about testing and, and developing and seeing what works, what doesn't work. Actually, uh, the, the, the pilot has a joystick in his hand and is able to move like a, like a game. Uh, these two servos, which will act uh, like, uh, you can see the, the thing is moving. We are testing the thrust vector, which is the equipment that the pilot uses uh, for now to, to move uh, left and right. And uh, we are not happy about the final results, so we are refining it. The next step is, is more ground testing, uh, more data analysis. Um, we have to, as always with R&D, test to failure and see what parts work and what don't. This was a five or six phase plan anyway, um, and all components need to be tested to their limits. keep the, 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 the communication between us if there is an engine that shuts down because that's the most tricky is that if I'm flying and then suddenly I have an engine shut down if I'm in the middle it's fine but if I'm close to the ramp then it's, uh, it's not uh, the best you begin with two wheels and then once you've got the balance you remove the two wheels and you go and that's the, uh, the way we want to go like uh, that's what I was saying by keep it simple like if I was removing my left foot from the exhaust, it started to turn right away, even on the platform. So it's a, it's no point that we do it again until we have the thrust vector. It's, it's a waste of time right now. We always train the safest way possible, so having Vince on a tether gives us full control should he get unstable and the platforms are to control uh, the, the thrust variation from the height of the runway it's got up your bike. We are testing the new system, which is the, the TV, the thrust vectoring uh, uh, nozzle, which will uh, help the pilot to move the wing uh, during the vertical flight, during the takeoff. And, uh, and for the future uh, takeoff and, uh, and landing system. We are closer every day. That's the end Ah man, it feels good. Big teamwork. You know, we started the test uh, not even a week ago. You know, Thursday last week we did the first test without stabilization. I burned my foot like crazy. And the boys, you know, they mounted a, a thrust vector that is literally like two pieces that it's welded together. It's massive. No, it's big, man. I don't know what to say more. There's been a lot of work on the on the engine, on the thrust vector, on the on the the remote as well to control the engines. We want to have a manual control of the thrust vector. He can't put his hands 
in the engine exhaust, so he moves a little piece of metal that does it. This is just some work that's been done. Basically, after every flight, we get some feedback, and then we can know any modification to do and uh, what to go further. Unfortunately, accidents do occasionally happen, but we have always the emergency action plan in place. Uh, at this point, it was due to a shoe failure, uh, which made Vince slip and fall. Uh, we went straight into action and uh, recovered him safely with no uh, injuries. So let's, uh, okay, please, everyone, like it's very important that now we all focus good on this because my safety is depending on this. We forgot to plug my uh, throttle cable when we were up there. I'm pretty good with concentration, but yeah. when I put myself, you know, into this, you know, it's like every little thing, you know, are counting. In the air, it was problem yesterday. It's problem on the ground. We're gonna have the same problem then uh, the next day. Yeah, yeah, we'll be interested. So number two is having an issue during the startup. It's slow to accelerate, you know. So it's not uh, reaching the stabilized RPM. So. Uh, there is a timeout for the starting stage, so if the turbine doesn't reach the certain RPM, it shuts down again. So we're going to have to like uh, replace the engine. We find the solution, so we are happy. Today is great because uh, we are moving from the rope and pulley system to the fall arrestor, which is basically uh, an automatic winch. Uh, which will be closer to reality for the pilot. Right now we feel confident, you know, we've done like a lot of tests on the ground, you know, for the past uh, two and a half weeks, a lot of tests. And the only problem that we had, and they were caused uh, by the, the cable, you know, like the, the rope that we had that creates some movement. So as I'm moving, you know, it's like the cable pulls you, you know, so it creates like a, an effect on the body. So we've done over a hundred ground tests on the cable system. Uh, for hovering and uh, movement. Now we need to move to the helicopter where we will work out the hover to transition into flight, uh, making sure that we do not lose any altitude with a combination of thrust to lift of the wing uh, in the climb out to safe altitude. I'm ready bro, let's do it Sunday, I feel good man. So now the last thing we need is just to know if uh, we will not have any trouble with the water and backwashing uh, that can uh, lead to an engine shutdown. We are practicing to take off from the ground above the water, so then if there is a problem more on uh, the control, then I finish in the water and not on the ground. good man now let's hope tomorrow there is no wind you know so we're here in the marina at skydive dubai uh, hopefully going to put something into the history books today everybody's excited the guys have been working really hard on the thrust vectors uh, and creating that technology and and hopefully today we will transition from 
takeoff into vertical flight and uh, make history. So it's going to be a great day. We have almost 100 uh, test flights at the moment with the system, everything working flawless. Uh, Vince and Fred are super, super uh, on track. And yeah, the team has just been working night and day for the last uh, two months almost for this. We took off from the ground um, with the, the jet wing and uh, basically uh, we were uh, controlling just the yaw movement, you know, which is the turn with a joystick. And, uh, and then after that, you know, we just played a bit above the water and then uh, when everything was good, then I went into flight and climb into altitude, you know, and uh, it's a big step for us because it's, uh, it's the first time that we are completely autonomous, you know, where uh, we take off from the ground and, uh, and then we went to, uh, to altitude, you know, to more than a thousand meters, I pull a looping and then I open my parachute, so it's, uh, it's, uh, it's big. We are all proud of each other, you know, of the work that we did of uh, this first dream, this first step of our dream, you know, to uh, take off from the ground, to be completely autonomous, but this is just the beginning, you know, there is much more coming and uh, we are training on uh, different stuff, project that you guys will see in the future and uh, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be great, no? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're just getting started. We're just getting started. <laughs> <laughs>